protests are growing and they are becoming more widespread. People in the rebel-held north of Syria want the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant to leave their country. It is not just protests. Armed rebel factions have also turned their guns against this Al-Qaeda-linked group and pushed them out of some villages. There have been fierce battles in parts of Aleppo and Idlib. And in this video, the opposition says they captured a Tunisian, Abu Saber El Tunisi, a commander of the group. A newly formed Syrian rebel alliance went as far as declaring war on the Islamic State. It demanded that ISIL fighters either join the ranks of other rebel groups or hand over their weapons and leave Syria. The alliance accused ISIL of spreading strife and insecurity in liberated rebel areas, spilling the blood of fighters and wrongly accusing them of heresy. The Islamic State equaled the Assad regime in their ruthlessness. That's why we decided to fight them. We won't stop until they're finished. The Islamic Front hasn't formally announced its stance on the clashes, but they have helped us in battles. FSA commanders say they are receiving help from the Islamic Front, the most powerful rebel alliance in the north. The Front hasn't come out clearly to state its position, but it was one of its commanders who was tortured and killed by the Islamic State a few days ago that sparked the wave of protests. ISIL took him in and un ended up executing him and I think that annoyed a lot of people and it became emblematic as what they see uh, as the hijacking of their revolution by foreigners. At the start of the uprising, foreign fighters were welcomed by the opposition. That changed a few months ago when the Islamic State began taking territory and imposing what some called brutal tactics against the population. They have arrested, killed and forced into exile secular opposition activists who call for democracy. Rebels have turned their guns on each other in recent months, but this is the most serious violence between Syria's armed opposition and Al-Qaeda. Some activists are calling it a new revolution, but it may be too early to compare to Iraq's awakening movement, which led to tribal militias pushing out Al-Qaeda. Rebel commanders say they are not being ordered by the international community to wage this fight. Undoubtedly, Al-Qaeda's presence has tarnished their revolution's image. The West has been talking about fighting terrorism in Syria instead of focusing on the regime. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Beirut.